The Thankful Village of Putnam. The village of Putnam sits just outside Long Marston, Tring, on the very edge of Decorum. At the time of the First World War, the total population of the parish was 71. Of these, 15 enlisted to serve and all of them returned. There were few places in England where all the men returned safely. These places became known as thankful villages. Putnam is the only thankful village in the county of Hertfordshire and their names are recorded on a plaque in St Mary's Church. Until now, there has been little known about these men. See below what we have been able to discover. I'll read a name and an important fact about each individual. Walter John Barron. He served as a private in France where he was burned in 1917 and gassed in 1918. Ernest Henry Chapman. Before the war, he lived in Wilsdon and worked as a stockbroker's clerk. Arthur Edward Goodyear was a signalman when he joined up to the London Regiment in 1915 at Euston Station. Job Frederick Green. Job was a private in the Hertfordshire and Bedfordshire Regiment. In 1922, he married Ellen Jeffs in Berkhampstead and they had three children. Ernest George Mapley. At first, he was a private in Hertfordshire Regiment and later on in the Labour Corps. Frederick John Mapley. He fought in France where he was wounded and in 1917 he spent four months recovering in Surrey from scarlet fever before returning to the battlefield. William Thomas Mapley. William was the oldest of the three Mapley brothers who fought in the First World War. Ernest John Proctor. He was a cowman on a farm before being called up in 1916. Charles Rodwell. Aged 18, he became a private in the Hertfordshire Regiment in 1914 and fought in France where he was promoted to Lance Corporal. William Rodwell. He enlisted in the Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Regiment but later fought with the Knotts and Derby Regiment. Frank Saunders. He joined the Worcestershire Hussars in September 1914 and became a member of the Army Cyclist Corps. In April 1914, he was captured and became a prisoner of war before being released on November 18th, a week after the armistice. James Saunders. He joined the 9th Regiment of Lancers of the Line, a cavalry division, in 1901 when he was 20. After 12 years of service in India and South Africa, he transferred to the Army Reserve in 1913 before rejoining in October 1914 fighting with the Lancers as part of the 2nd Cavalry Brigade on the Western Front. Herbert George Saunders. As a rifleman, he fought with the London Regiment in France between 1915 and 1917, when he was discharged after being wounded and he was given a silver badge. Job Saunders. He was a gunner during the war in the Royal Garrison Artillery. In 1915, he married Margaret Proctor and may have had two children. Daniel Stewart, the mystery man. There is no obvious connection, but in 1939, there was a Daniel Stewart, born in 1889, who did not work as he was disabled. It looks as if he had married Annie Ling in Wilsdon in 1916.